Hello, friends and family of First Church Mesa. I pray that you are doing well on this Giving Tuesday. I wanted to give you this opportunity on this Giving Tuesday so, to support one of our greatest ministries that are happening and growing at First Church of Mesa. Right now, I am in our clothing pantry, which is located in our um, our north e or southeast building on our campus, and we are uh, here as people are shopping. And they are looking for clothes and, and, and gently used items so that if you're able to donate, we're asking that you go ahead and, uh, and come by and donate on this, either on this Giving Tuesday or at any time during the week. We are also opening up our, um, our ability for you to uh, continue to, to give uh, to our church through our text service. Um, you could text donations today to 77977. And when you uh, text, just put in there Friends at First. We're calling this whole ministry Friends at First. We want to show you another part of that ministry as it continues to grow. As we go outside from our clothing pantry into our newest addition, which is our food pantry. Come on in. Our food pantry is uh, continuing to grow. As I said, right now you can see that the shelves are bare. We are trying to build this ministry up again uh, since the pandemic. We gave all of our food resources to Save the Family in order to support the ministries uh, through Save the Families, and they're one of our ministry partners. Um, we, what we do here in the food pantry is that we provide these blessing bags for those who are um, didn't cut off. No, I didn't cut off. Yeah. <laughs> we provide uh, blessing bags for those who are street neighbors. So it's full with water, pretzels, some protein, some snacks, and just a way uh, of providing a quick and easy meal uh, for them. But in the larger goal, the, the food pantry will also provide shelf-stable food uh, for families and those who are on the margins and have a place to cook. So, again, you can give to this ministry by uh, texting 77977 at this moment. Uh, just click on there, uh, and, and in the subtitle, we want you to put friends at first. That is friends at first, and we know that that money will be allocated directly to this specific ministry. Along with that, we also are uh, asking that you, if you have the ability to provide shelf-stable food, nothing that is outdated, um, but if you have the ability to provide shelf-stable food, we would love to have that resource given to us as well as the uh, gently used clothing for our clothing pantry. We'll go on to the next part of this ministry, which is our children's clothing pantry. Our children's clothing pantry is very much like the Adult clothing pantry. A whole nother room just for chi for children and kids. So inside our children's uh, pantry, if you look around, you'll see that we have children's clothes, children's uh, diapers, and, and gently used shoes uh, for the wear. Uh, and we are always looking for resources to help with this part of the ministry as well. So just a reminder, we have the adult clothing pantry, we have the, um, the food pantry, and then we also have the, the uh, children's pantry. So each part of this ministry, we're calling Friends at First, needs your help. And at this being Giving Tuesday, I'm sure that you have already done your shopping for Christmas as on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now is an opportunity for you to give back in a way that uh, substantially helps our neighbors here in Mesa, Arizona. We're continuing to build community and we're building the community not only through these programs, but but through a, um, another program which we call our cool down room. The cool down room was a project that we started um, with the help and, and support of Mesa Police Department. 
uh, in the summer months when it becomes very hot in, in the state of Arizona, we provide this space uh, that is a, a cool, refreshing place for our street neighbors to come. They are able to sit and uh, cool down. They're able to charge their devices and even uh, take a nap. Uh, oftentimes our street neighbors are unable to sleep during the evening time as they're worried for their security. And so the, this gives them an opportunity to be out of the heat during the day, take some rest, and again, receive a blessing bag, which uh, gives them a meal. And we also have a shower facility. We're trying to build that shower facility a little bit more. We only have one shower available right now. And so we only are able to service, how many showers? About 10. Um, and what we would like to do is to double our efforts. So we're really seeking funding in order to uh, put in another shower facility here so that we're able to, to do twice as much work um, in serving our community. Um, Teresa here is, uh, all, is, is one of the head persons in this ministry. And she, would, she, she loves uh, serving our community in this way. And we con continue to look forward uh, to all of the ways that we're able to serve our community uh, through our cool down room, through the blessing bag ministry, through the clothing uh, ministry, and through the food pantry. So again, if you're able to give on this Giving Tuesday, you can text 77977 and you can give financial donations or you can bring your donations of food items, clothing items, gently used clothing items to the office at any time uh, during the week and for really the rest of the year. Um, our office is open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Again, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Thank you and God bless you. We're, we're so grateful for everything that you are able to do to support this ministry. And we look forward to continuing to partner with you to serve our Mesa community. God bless.